Yeah, I'm back. And it's the second part of that video. Um, like I say, you know, a lot of times, you see, the thing is, white people don't think like black people do. You got to understand that in their mind, they see things totally different than you. They are extremely and overly ambitious in your presence. I want to tell you another thing. I ain't never met a white person that stood up for what was right because it was the right thing to do. Not one. Are there some out there who are? There's likely chance that there may be. It's always an exception to the rule. But I want to tell you something. All across the world, African Americans are known for our music, our dancing, and keeping time and keeping beat. But also, all over the world, on the flip side of the coin, by white folks, that they are known for their deception, their bloodthirst, and their lust for power. It's hot in here. But bear with me because uh, I got a lot of white people on my Facebook page. White people that I know all over. Who may even be exposed. Who may even run across these videos. I got some Latino friends who run across these videos. Might not like what I have to say. But I don't give a damn. If they like it or not. You can delete me if you want to. I don't give a damn. Because I don't need you anyway. And if some of you black people don't like it neither. You can kiss my ass too. I don't give a damn about what you think neither. And if kissing my ass is too much for you. You can kneel down and kiss your own ass. That's what you want to do. That makes you feel better. But I'm going to give it to you in a row. The white man. You are known for your deception. You are known for your deceit. You are known for your corruption all over the world. You have screwed over every other race that you came in contact with. I don't like talking about slavery and all that old stuff. That's all a bunch of old shit there to me. That's nothing to me. I like to talk about what's going on right now, right here in our society. And I want to tell you something. Racism has not stopped. It's, it, it, it didn't just go away. Racism only had a facelift. That's all it had. Same stuff was going on then, going on now. It's just in a different way. It's more modern. It's more technical. Is what I'm saying. They still need slaves. That's why they got a lot of illegal, illegal immigrants working in these factories and warehouses. You want to know why? Because as long as you got illegal immigrants working in these positions, you're not dealing with second and third class citizens like you think the black man is. You're dealing with a person that has no class citizenship. As soon as he make some waves or rock the boat, you get rid of him. You send his ass back to Mexico or wherever the hell is he come from. But a lot of them so damn ignorant and stupid, they think that they placing us because we lazy and stupid. Now nah, what it is, we ain't finna kiss no white man's ass and jump every time the white man tell us to jump. See, that's what that's all about. Because I ain't finna kiss no white man's ass. I'm not finna jump every time you tell me to jump. But a lot of you, blacks, negroes, whatever you want to call yourself, you fall right into that bullshit ass trap. You let these white people befriend you, pat you on your damn back, or pat you on your head like you're a pet animal, and say, oh, you're not a nigger, you're just a black person. Well, as long as you're a black person, of course, as long as you're doing what they want you to do, as long as you're going along with their plan, 
and you're not resisting them and you're not standing up against their bullshit. But as soon as you piss one of them off, as soon as you do something they don't like, or show any slightest resistance, all of a sudden, you ain't no good. And when you ain't no good, all of a sudden you turn into being a nigga. You gotta watch out. Excuse me. You gotta watch out for that. You got a lot of white women. Exclusively only date black men. And all the time, the black men think that he running the white woman. The white woman all along manipulating them. See, that was the problem with men and white women. It was hard for them to manipulate me. It was hard for them to try to pull the wool over my eyes. They always felt like they was being challenged. They couldn't buy me off with material things or with doing anything sexually that I wanted them to do. That wasn't enough to me. I needed full 100% cooperation. Full 100% mutual respect for each other. Which is something a white woman could never offer me. That was not able to ever offer me that. See, I'm not easily bought. And I ain't never sold. Because I ain't for sale. You can't manipulate with me with no money. Or with no sex. Or nothing like that. And that goes for black women too. All along, you thinking this white woman totally and completely in your corner, you laying on your deathbed, and she winking at your brother. And if, you, if your grandfather's sexy enough, she winking at him too. That's why I say you can't trust these people, man. Has it happened to me? That's what a lot of people are saying. And I ask you, has it happened to you? Because that type of thing can happen to anyone, regardless of what race, age, or sex you are. But that's not my point. My point is to black people. The white man cannot be trusted. He is not your damn friend. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to add something else on to you. As long as these Latinos got their heads shoved up the white man's ass, you can't trust them neither. Because they some smiling, grinning, backstabbing motherfuckers. Mothers too. I'm sorry, I almost used that word. I try not to use it, but they some ass kissers too. They believe what these people say. The white man tell them to jump, they're going to ask how high. If they was in a position and they was legal, and they said, we'll give you every black man's citizenship, you cut his throat. You wouldn't be able to buy a knife or no cutting item nowhere in no stores across the country. Because they'll all be sold out. And you'll see black men laying up in the gutters with their throat cut. Alleys, cars, gangways, hallways, everywhere. In the bathroom at Jewels or the parking lot. If you walk around, you see blood all over, blood in the street. So that's why I'm saying these people can't be trusted. And some of these old Uncle Tom Negroes who got their head up the white man's behind can't be trusted neither. Now I ain't done yet. This is going to go into a second part of the video. But... I will finish this off on a good note. So dig me and check me out on the second, the third part actually of this video. Peace out.